Welcome to Mr. Coder Explains where we break down complex phenomena into easy to understand pieces. Here we unravel the mysteries of the world and translate scientific jargon into everyday language. Our goal is simple, to make knowledge accessible and to satisfy your curiosity across a wide range of topics. Today we're tackling a topic of immense importance and interest, tsunamis. So what exactly is a tsunami? It's a series of ocean waves with very long wavelengths, typically caused by large-scale disturbances of the ocean. These disturbances can occur in many forms. The most common are undersea earthquakes, where the movement of tectonic plates displaces a large volume of water. This displacement is what starts the wave formation. But earthquakes aren't the only culprits. Volcanic eruptions can also trigger tsunamis. When a volcano erupts beneath the ocean's surface, it can cause a sudden shift in the water around it, creating a tsunami. Even landslides both underwater and on the coastline can lead to tsunamis. A significant amount of material sliding into the ocean at once can displace enough water to set off a wave. In all these scenarios the energy from the disturbance is transferred to the water. This energy moves in all directions creating waves that ripple out across the ocean. These waves can travel at high speeds reaching up to hundreds of miles per hour in the open ocean. And it's important to remember while these waves might start out small in the vast ocean, they can grow to be incredibly high as they approach shallower water near the coastlines. Now that we understand how tsunamis are formed let's delve into what scientists have discovered about the upcoming tsunami. Scientists have recently raised concerns about the possibility of a new Boxing Day tsunami. They have discovered alarming signs of seismic activity, notably recent earthquakes in Morocco and Turkey, that could potentially trigger a devastating tsunami similar to the one that struck on Boxing Day in 2004. This imminent tsunami is predicted to originate from a powerful undersea earthquake, much like the one off the coast of Sumatra that led to the previous Boxing Day tragedy. The scale of its impact could be colossal, with coastal regions across multiple continents at risk of extensive damage. Scientists are particularly concerned about the potential for a high death toll and significant destruction to infrastructure. Multiple countries, especially those with extensive coastlines and low-lying areas, are in the danger zone. However, the exact origin, timing and severity of such a tsunami remain uncertain. This is due to the unpredictable nature of seismic events and the vast number of variables involved in the generation and propagation of tsunamis. Despite these uncertainties, the collective voice of the scientific community is clear. We need to be prepared. Now let's talk about what happened during the last Boxing Day tsunami, and how we can prepare for the next one. The Boxing Day tsunami of 2004 was a devastating event, causing the death of 230,000 people across 14 countries. Areas hardest hit, like Sumatra, were left grappling with an unimaginable loss, a stark reminder of the sheer force of nature. This catastrophic event has left indelible lessons, lessons that scientists are now using to prepare for the potential of a similar event in the future. The advancements in technology and data analysis since 2004 have allowed scientists to study the patterns of tsunamis, their origins, and their impacts more closely. They're using this information to make predictions about the upcoming Boxing Day tsunami, where it might form, how it might travel, and which regions it could impact. But it's not just about understanding and predicting these natural disasters, it's also about preparing for them, and that's where you, the individual, come into play. There are certain steps we can all take to ensure we're ready should a tsunami hit. Sign up for local emergency alerts so you're immediately informed if a tsunami is on the horizon. Familiarize yourself with your local evacuation routes and have a plan in place. Preparation is key, but remember no amount of planning can fully protect us from the unpredictable nature of tsunamis. What it can do, however, is help us react more effectively, potentially saving lives in the process. As we've seen, tsunamis are a force of nature to be reckoned with. But with knowledge and preparedness we can reduce their potential harm. That brings us to the end of our exploration of tsunamis. We've journeyed through the creation of tsunamis, delved into the scientific discoveries surrounding the anticipated Boxing Day tsunami, and revisited the devastation caused by the previous one. We've identified the potential danger zones and shed light on the recent earthquakes in Morocco and Turkey, possibly hinting at this upcoming disaster. Let's not forget the importance of preparedness, from understanding evacuation procedures to knowing the signs of a possible tsunami. Thank you for joining Mr. Coder Explains. Remember, understanding is the first step to preparedness. Stay safe and we'll see you in our next video.